Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1978 and 1989 to listen to The Man with the Child in His Eyes, The Sensual World, and The Fog by the amazing Kate Bush. And we'll kick it off with The Man with the Child in His Eyes. Comes from the album The Kick Inside, her first studio album, peaking at number three in the UK. This is one of the songs that David Gilmore assisted in getting a demo made in 1975, which helped get her a record deal. It was the second single reaching number six in the UK. It's a love song allegedly written about Steve Blacknell, Kate's first boyfriend. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as a notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. And on screen is a recap of the amazing ride we had over on Patreon in the month of July. The full album reaction was The Beatles, Abbey Road, plus individual song reactions from Rush, The Who, The Doors, Cool and the Gang, Paul Simon, Art Garfunkel, Aha, and much more goodies from the 80s. Link is in the description if you wish to join. All right, here we go. I hear him before I go to sleep and focus on the day that's been. I realize he's there when I turn the light off and turn over. Nobody knows about my man They think he's lost on some horizon And suddenly I find myself Listening to a man I've never known before Telling me about the sea All his loves to eternity Ooh, he's here first song. Wow. Two minutes and 41 seconds doesn't seem nearly enough time to pack such a punch, to pack in so much feeling, so much beauty, but she completely aced it here. Obviously, she was very young when she recorded this album, this song. I definitely noticed a more youthful tone in her voice. I really love her tone here. Such beauty, such innocence. Uh, She has several different shades, obviously. I've heard many throughout her career. This is certainly a glimmering one and one of my favorite vocal tones of hers. I got such a heartwarming feeling throughout this whole song. 
Wow, she's so special. A lot of her music has that warm, rich, safe feeling about it, magical, dreamy. We could go on and on. Yes, there's the dark stuff, but this kind of stuff, just beautiful, highly impactful. And wow, I think she wrote this at 13 years old. Insane, you know. She was brilliant from childhood, probably from birth, and, you know, completely destined for a successful life in music, impacting the entire world. Of course, a powerful, warm chorus going on. You know, there was so much love from her vocal delivery. I just felt it. You can tell this song has a real, true-to-life meaning to her, for her, and it's apparent through the way she sings it. I gotta give props to that magical pre-chorus as well. Absolutely brilliant. Love that part. I think she truly captured such a deep and personal love in a bottle forever with this song. And that fact that she packed so much beauty, so much love into such a short song written at such a young age, the beginning of her teen years, makes this one so worthy of the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, loved it for The Man with a Child in His Eyes by Kate Bush, 1978. All right, next we listen to The Sensual World. Comes from The Sensual World, her sixth studio album, reaching number two in the UK. The song, The Sensual World, was a single and reached number 12 in the UK. Kate re-recorded it for the 2011 album Director's Cut. It includes fiddle, Yulian pipes, and bazooki, a Greek instrument, I believe. Wow. It was inspired by the character Molly Bloom from James Joyce's 1922 novel Ulysses. It focuses on a deep connection with nature and someone you love deeply. Let's check it out. Perfect. Yeah. 
back to reality. That was incredible. Unexpected. My review is, ooh, yes. No wonder it did so well on the charts. No wonder you guys recommended it. No wonder it's the title track. No wonder it's the first track of the album. Ah, brilliant. Definitely noticed a big change in her vocal tone. The more mature Kate that I know well is here in this one compared to the first song. I loved both, though. I also loved when the bass, drums, and percussion kicked in. Kind of didn't expect that. I thought of Yulian Pipes, Bazooki, and Fiddle, and I thought, you know, just slow, dramatic, whatever, but didn't expect that cool beat, so that was a nice little juxtaposition there. Uh, but those exotic instruments that I just mentioned, incredible, love, love, love everything they did. We got plenty of them. A couple of dark touches here and there. I should have pointed it out, but you guys heard it. Just amazing, mysterious melodies fit perfectly with the song, with her voice. Everything was completely satisfying here. Everything was completely intoxicating, especially that voice. Wow. I love that it was quiet and seductively restrained, fit perfectly with the song. It just became part of the flow, part of the swirl of the mysterious gorgeousness. Like I said, such a seductive, euphoric feel in the music and a European feel for sure due to some of those instruments. Wow. You know, usually when I get watery eyes, which happens a lot, as you probably know, it's usually caused by the sorrow, the sadness, the drama, the lush instrumentation. But this time, the watery eyes were caused by the intrigue and mystery of it all. I just love the lane that this song is in. She's brilliant. Always, she's brilliant here. I was just deeply lost in the music the whole time. I was floating about and deeply addicted to her voice, her tone, her delivery, everything she was doing. She's a master musician, a master vocalist, clearly. What an experience this was. I guess this is the usual Kate Bush intoxication effect. Got it plenty in the ninth wave, got it here. This one's getting the double epic platinum record award. Yes, completely deserving for The Sensual World by Kate Bush, 1989. And the only thing better than two Kate Bush songs is three. Now we're going to check out The Fog. It explores themes of growth, fear, and love experienced while navigating through life. This one contains whistle, cello, violin, orchestra, Celtic harp. What have I done to deserve this?
Wow, I thought I got lost in the last song. Another surprising beat right from the start. Didn't expect that. I love how she combines these, you know, beats, these rhythms with this dramatic acoustic instrumentation. Uh, big Tori Amos vibes in this one. I could totally hear Tori. She has done songs similar to this. But as I always say, Kate did it first. Then the deep, dark strings kick in. You already know what that does to me, you know. We get this dramatic, reverbed violin and cello just cutting through the music. It was superb. And then it was really interesting. There was a super distant drum. I heard the snare. felt like it was miles back in the mix, but just enough to give it that extra flavor. Very interesting choice there. In this one, all the drama in the music felt as big, as grand, as the biggest dramas of life itself. Just a huge ocean of sound going on here. It literally felt like I was drowning in the music, but you know, it's not water, it's music. It just fills you up and enriches you. Of course, I don't know all the words yet, but I really felt her fear, her hesitation, her overall introspection about life. Deep stuff happening here, I can tell. And of course, her heavenly vibrato, besides her amazing lower vocal tone here. That vibrato, that seductive nature of her voice, just grabs tight to my soul and doesn't let go till she's finished. Songs like this are a perfect example of how real time seems to stop while you're listening, experiencing these, especially with your eyes closed. It's like you're in slow motion, or better yet, I'm in Kate Bush time, not Earth time. Overall, just some deep lyrical meaning paired perfectly with that gorgeous, big, bold, dramatic instrumentation, something she does best. Wow, this one's also getting the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, very deserving for The Fog by Kate Bush, 1989. And thank you so very much for these three glorious songs, the amazing Kate Bush, and anyone else involved in creating them. I know there was a long list of players. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these three songs, I would love to know what you think. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Oh, 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 oh.